Hello, this is R-I-C-K-Y, the Android Guy. Alright guys, today I'm going to be going over the best file managers for Android. So, now, some devices come with built-in file managers and other devices uh, will not. Now, you can use the built-in ones or if you just wanted something a little different, these are the ones I consider the best file managers for both a phone and a tablet. So first let's go right into the tablet one and then we'll go over the phone in a second. Now this one, um, some people don't know, it's actually called File Manager HD. It has a little folder in the back and a little honeycomb uh, B icon in the front. So this is it. And let me open it up. And so at the top left here we have some uh, buttons. So we have Home, Multiple, so if you're going to uh, select multiple things, to go up in the file manager system, uh, back, next, or grid-like view. So if you can see right now, this is how it'll start off. I like the grid-like view better. Reminds me of a Windows PC, so that is the view that I prefer. Now, you also have shortcuts to things like storage, system, gallery, download folder, music, and movies. So you have shortcuts to that, but you have a lot of different uh, ones. Now the benefit of um, a file manager is obviously uh, different things like if you install an SD card or a flash drive and want to get to it, you know, different, uh, different tablets will have different things. For my older Samsung Galaxy Tab, I usually go into storages right here. And it'll be right here when I plug in a SD card or a uh, flash drive, so that'll be right there. Um, now again, I can go back or up to get back to the original portion. But it's really nice if you just want to see um, if you have movie folders, if you have, and you can create whatever folder you want, of course. If you just want to create a new folder, um, you can create right here and create a new folder. You can see your landline connection for other devices on the network. You can sort it differently. You can search for something. You can storage analyze, so you can actually see what is taking up the most storage and where. Is it a folder you're actually using or is it an app folder that is, re is irrelevant? So those are the important things. Also, if and if you want, you can download APKs, which are uh, in a sense like games. So say if I um, some of the APKs that I've downloaded personally, I put in a folder called My Apps, and these are all APKs. How um, APK is the file that your app is. So if I wanted to install this app, I just click install, and that's it. And that's how simple it is. All right. So that was the tablet one, which is again. File Manager HD, that one right there. Now the next one is Astro File Manager. Now this one's really good. I don't like the tablet version as much, so that's why I prefer the other one for that. But Astro File Manager is probably the best uh, phone file manager I've seen. I've tried a lot of them out. I just like the interface. It's pretty nice. Again, similar thing at the top. You have Home, Multiple, View. So if you want to change the view to a list or a grid, just like that. Um, back, uh, next, drag, sort, refresh, create something new. So you have a lot of things. You can even change the look of it if you want to change the look. So you have a lot of different types of things. Again, same kind of system. You have different files here um, and you can install apps or APKs. So say like uh, when uh, I did the video for the uh, S-Voice and how did I download the APK, it went to my download folder Downloads or download? Download. So I went to my download folder and here's my APKs for Google Wallet, for S-Voice, and for Flipboard. So just to give you an example of how these work. And that was Astro File Manager. All right, guys, if you have any other questions on file managers or uh, what about this one, what about that one, feel free to ask. I've pretty much tried them all. Those are the ones that I personally like the best, but, you know, if you have your own favorite, feel free to leave it in the comment section. All right, this has been RCKY, the Android Guy.